Hello! Welcome back to Attica Park. Nice early start for us today. Uh, whoa, whoa. I think the trailer might be a bit heavy for the tractor. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I have 24,000 litres of lime on the trailer. Uh, Sharon was a bit shocked that it was, uh, it was half five. <laughs> I was knocking at her door trying to get some lime. Uh, but I have a lot to do today. So, uh, let's crack on. So, the, uh, the seed shed thing, actually they've got their own bags of seed, fertilizer and lime, so that's what I bought. This kitten did really, really well. Uh, I should have just purchased this in the first place. Uh, the amount of money I lost returning other things was redonkulous. Um... I've given this a bit of a spruce mousse because we need to collect the straw from our little field. Uh, but on the subject of potatoes, this belt worked a treat. This thing onto here and then into here. We have 245,000 litres of your finest dirty potato in here. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it actually yielded pretty good, that field, to be honest. Um, I need to straighten the edges of the field up. Uh, I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Um, <coughs> but, uh, yeah. A few things I need to get done. Uh, I need to check the animals. I need to check all the productions. Let's jump in here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change this back to miles and pounds. There we go. Productions, where are you? There it is. Uh, still no sugar beet. Uh, that's pretty much empty. Uh, the fruit greenhouse grapes and olives are doing well. I've turned off olives and I've started the grapes. Um, once I've sold a few olives, I might switch it back up again. Uh, and then the production shed. So we are maxed out pretty much on manure. Uh, we were using the straw and the slurry uh, to make the manure. Oh, I've loved us. I've turned that off. Uh, we're down to our last 900 litres uh, of water there. And we're almost out of road salt for the uh, for the herbicide. Uh, so that will need topping up at some point. Now, the potato processing. We have 200,000 litres of potatoes. So, from our field, we ended up with 445,000 litres of potato. And we are probably going to end up doing some premium potatoes. Uh, the French fries, potato gratin, uh, everything else needs extras other than just potatoes and water. So, uh, and then we do get starch as a byproduct. Um, so that's what we're going to end up doing. But I do need to get some water in here first. TMR. So that's pretty much full. And then this silage. Uh, so this straw silage is activated at the moment. I'm not sure whether to do the entirety of the uh, 181,000 litres of straw or just do half or I don't know. I might end up using this as my TMR thing. Um, <clears throat> but then I can't put bales in it. I don't know. We'll work something out. We always do, right? So, yeah, so that's where we are at. Animals are doing their thing. Um, I'm indecisive whether or not to uh, to grab some more Angus, some older ones, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So, I need a tractor. Um, I might grab a little Massey, actually. I really like this one. It sounds nice, works nice. But, uh, Let's grab some diesel and then I think the plan right now is to uh, grab a hold of this forage wagon uh, and then get the straw in the small field collected and distributed willy nilly around the place. So, uh, just double check that it actually works, it's going to pull it. Yeah, that'd be great. <clears throat> yes, we got in this first field and uh, 
collect all the straw. I may take some to the biogas plant, uh, to the uh, fermenting silo. I'll probably top up the cows, probably top up the uh, TMR station thing. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Who left that gate open? Darn and dag, damn it. Get some lights on. The proper working in the dark. Anywho, I'm going to uh, to crack on and uh, get all of the straw picked up. See you guys in a bit.
just heading back down to the uh, the BGA here so that uh, yeah, I might drop another load of straw into the fermenting silo and then while I'm here take out some of the um, some more should I say of the silage and pop that in to the BGA but uh, yeah the tractor's performed well I like it I like the green and the orange yeah. a bit strange than I am but uh, yeah there you go that's that empty right now I need to fill it with silage come on where's the trigger who's nicked it gonna crash nope just missed it right silage there we go so we'll get this in here not sure we'll take all of it yeah there we go we'll take half of the lobster in there and then we'll get this in here so that the uh, the biogas plant can start to do its thing there we go silage and for that that eh? job your bed. We do a slightly faster run then on this trailer. <laughs> well, that's just me. You know how it is. Right. Where should I put this? I'll leave it here. It's annoying that that doesn't have a trigger, so I can just click on it and see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, might pop that over in the uh, the farmyard and uh, use that as our TMR mixer but uh, as I say it doesn't take bales which is really annoying so uh, I don't know we'll see what happens when it happens I suppose <coughs> but the plan for today is we need to make some uh, some cash um, because the uh, beets will be ready in the morning in uh, October and we still need to purchase the header for the homer and we still need to purchase the trailer for the header for the homer homer yeah as in Harlem yeah so that's where we're at currently I think the next job for today is to grab ourselves some water possibly oh, I'm in the wall get out of the wall need more diesel again it hasn't got a very big tank right leave that there tractor take the voucher yeah why not and then uh, there are some whites on here. Diesel. Let's start with diesel. I'm glad I filled this back up, I tell you. Well, I didn't fill it up, actually. I put 5,000 litres in it, but... Uh, yeah, probably should have filled it up, to be honest. Is what it is. Yeah, I think we'll grab the... Cultivator. So I might put the whites back on because uh, you know you would normally cultivate with narrows. I mean, it is only a game by the end of the day, but uh, six grand to repair, dag nabbit. <coughs> right, I had the wide and weights on the Michelins. <coughs> there we go. Pop those back on. Should I repair it? 6,717 Nope You just have to work as you are Right, let's grab that weight Oh man We'll grab Where is it? Where is it? It's a light tank Should I do the water first or should I do The I think I might grab some water. There we go. 
get that greenhouse topped up. There's so many things I want to do, and I'll get it all puzzled. Right, let's build that back up. It takes so long, this pump thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to fill this up, and I shall see you. Well, I shall see you at some point when this <laughs> when this is eventually fill up, I suppose. Right, toodles. And here we are, as if by magic, down at the potato processing. So I've put a few loads in, as you can tell. <clears throat> We're now on 58,400 litres, and uh, I think the only thing we can do is to activate the premium potatoes. <coughs> Uh, one litre, there we go, and we have one litre of starch, so it's doing its thing. Um, yeah, I'm still not feeling 100%, and I do apologise for the coughing. Um, it is what it is, uh, not much I can do about it, to be honest. It's either that, or I don't record, or I just do my St. Cali videos, where there's no voiceover, it's literally the uh, the chitter chattering that makes me cough, and then my chest gets really tight, and then I just feel horrendous. So, uh, yeah. Anywho, so this field here is a really, really horrible shape. Now, what I thought was, now hear me out. I'm probably going to plant beet in this field next time because of the shape of the field and the terrain so it's quite hilly and the tractor even with that <coughs> that potato doohickey on the back was yeah it struggled a little on some of these steeper bits so i'm thinking this will be the beet field and then the other field will become potatoes now the problem i got with this field is the hedges, the hedges, let's go with the hedges. The hedges are too close to the grass, and the grass is too close to the field. So, why did that not destroy that? So, the turning, especially with the uh, crop destruction turned on, is, how to put this politely, really, really annoying. So what I want to do, is I want to mark out a square field, plant grass around the outside. Who put that tree right there? Plant grass around the outside and then plant the beet or the. Uh, that's bugging me, that's not being destroyed. Um, so that I have a bit more turning space. I should have crop destruction turned on. No, it's off. My bad. I was doing something else on a different map and clearly it's remained off. That's my bad. I'm not sure why it's off on this map though. It should be on. Normally on. Well, it's on now anyway. So, back to uh, here. I'm not sure what sort of angles that I can get a worker to run at. If you know what I mean. So, basically, I need a worker to help with the potato or the beet harvest because I can't be in three places at once. If I just jump into here, where am I going? Uh, there we go. So this is the field. This is the funny angle. Um, and then these guys want to go this way or this way. Uh, yeah, so I need to create a square field out of this pig's ear. Um, which is going to be fun, to say the least. So my thought is, actually, we're just going to run up here and just cut that corner off. I'm going to cultivate most of it. And leave a square in the middle like a plow because it's a root crop. I could do that. 
I don't know. You see all these decisions? <laughs> oh, it's been a long day as well. So, what I need to know really is where the square's going to be. It's all well and good cultivating around the outside if the square ends up in a position where the worker isn't going to work. Does that make any sense? Am I just waffling now? Right. Now if I go straight down here. Oh. Don't know. Is the other side of the field worker friendly? I'm pretty sure I got a worker to run up the other side of the field. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I do like this massive. I'm not sure whether the weight's too heavy for the front Ooh, or what it is, but it really wiggles around. The tractor, I mean, not the weight. Wait, can I get a worker on this? Oh, I can. So a worker will run up this edge. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, there's a little heap of potatoes there. For some reason, it wouldn't let me pick them up. So, well, they're going to stay there. So, where is... Where's straight on here? Or across there. Worker wants to run this way. It's going to cut quite a bit off the bottom. Although... Not much I can do about that, is there? Don't want a square field out of this pig's ears, it's, you know... You polish a poop and all that, it still ends up just a poop, right? So, should I just cultivate on the outside? Oh. Yeah, the worker's definitely going to run up this side. Because, yeah, that always helps. Not going to work. I've kind of got two two straight edges at the moment. I've got the, uh, the north-south, which is what I'm calling this one, and then I've got the east-west at the bottom. <sighs> I'm not sure that I'm wasting my time with this cultivating them. Because ideally I want to plough this area if it's for, if it's going to be, you know... And being on the side of the field as well, it's going to turn around at the ends. I'm not sure that I need the extra space on the side. Um, I'm going to put it here. A bit further up. Um, will it run this way? Yes, it will. No. Don't know. I'm trying to work out where the worker will run if we do, you know, so that I can guarantee a straight worker edge. There's got plenty of room to turn around in. Not gonna work. I think I'm too far over to be honest. If I continue from there and go up. How far up is it going to go before it runs out of field? And do I need to come down a bit more? I want to get as, mo uh, get as much field for the beets, potatoes as possible. No, I don't want to. So if I do it here, I'm going to end up half a field. So, what's the tree? Do I come back a bit? Do I not come back a bit? No, no. Um, I don't know. Right, I'm going to have a mess about with this. Um, when I've worked out, I'll bring you back in. Right, so I think I've worked it out. Um, but rather than mess about, oh, it's going to pull away then. 
Rather than messing around with that cultivator anymore, I think I'm going to grab myself a plow. So, uh, need to uh, head to the store, have a quick chat with Sharon, and uh, see what she's got in stock, I suppose. It's going to be something hideous, I know it is. She seems to just palm off all the uh, all the tat on me. <laughs> uh, and I need to skit with that person. I wasn't paying attention, can you tell? <coughs> right, let's get this parked up over here. If Sharon doesn't have a go at me. That's my boy, she gives me tatters because I just dump the tractors around. How many people do you actually reckon take their tractors to the store? Yeah. Anywho's, need to go and have a chat with Sharon. Sharon! Well, as I said, she has get, found me a John Deere disc. Because, you know, in fairness, it's a John Deere dealership, so. <laughs> yeah, she ends up with a disc kicking about the place. So, uh, I need to make money this episode, and here I am, hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging it. So, is what it is. Anywho's, we need to head back down to the field. And, uh, and crack on, I suppose. Whoa. We closed that, was I think. Right. Do a bit. And here we are, pretty much. So we're back down at the potato processing, and our field is just behind these trees. So I'm hoping I can actually get this through the gate opening thing without it catching the hedge. Because that would be really annoying. So as you see, I've kind of got a square knocked up. But I need this ploughed in because I had beets. No I didn't. I had potatoes and it's going to be beets. And as is a root crop, it needs ploughing. So. Oh, well, I thought it wasn't moving there for a second. Animation's a little bit on the slow side for that one. It's what it is. Right. That's that. I've got a square kind of marked out. So hopefully it will do its thing. Do you think? I need to keep these edges pretty straight. And then this edge just coming up here, I need to uh, I need to guarantee that that is perfect. I had a quick shifty at the, uh, the mini map just now, and uh, when I rolled up it with a cultivator, I actually missed the very edge. There was loads of uh, yeah, loads of edge dirt that still had cropping, if you know what I mean. So I need to overlap this grass a tad. He just had to know with a disc harrow, right? Did that make a disc harrow? Disc plow? Just a disc? I don't know. It is what it is, this disky thing. This John Deere doohickey. Get this lined up. And then lower it down. And then wait for the animation for three days. There we go. Well, I do like these discs. It's uh, it's a bit different than just using your standard uh, plow. Uh, if I've got small fields, I do like to use like a traditional three, four, five thorough plow. I think they're pretty cool. Um, that's what we see round by us, to be honest. Uh, the local farm near us has a convenient I'm pretty sure it is uh, four thorough plow and uh, yeah he's got reasonably large fields to be honest uh, he doesn't plow very often uh, he generally cultivates um, yeah <coughs> 
yeah so this is the top edge now this bit here So this triangle area is, well, will become grass and the rest of the field. You see, inside of my plowage, is that a word? Plowage? Today it's a word. Inside of my plowage, <laughs> because today that is a word. Um, I'm going to scooch to the other end and work my way back. That way I can guarantee that I'm far enough over. So yeah, so inside of my plowage will be my new field technically and the outside of my plowage will be grass and then that should give the beet harvester plenty of room to turn around there you go lower that down which is what it is and hopefully that will work like it's supposed to now the only issue I can think of currently is I'm going to have to manually, and I'll repeat that, that I'm going to have to manually plough the edge, outside edge of the beet field after every harvest. Because the worker's going to see the field as a entire field. It's not going to see, look at that, look pretty cool bouncing around uh, <laughs> I digress the worker is going to see the field as a field therefore my grass is going to get churned if you will which will be really annoying um, I do apologize for my chair for some strange reason today my my desk chair seems to be creaking around like a trooper and no I don't know why it, 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 it just is Maybe I should keep still. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Have I done this edge? Yes, I did do this edge. Oh, having one of those days, can you tell? Um, yeah. I record this in sections and I'm miles away. Right, so I need to be on the inside of this one. That's a really cool animation, mine. Can get quite close. But not too close. There we go, that should be alright. So I spent £158 there you go on worker fees just so I can get this square. All I want is this square. You see that edge? Well, that's the one I was. Yeah. <clears throat> so that will be my new field inside of this rectangle, and then the outside will be grass. That's the plan, anyway. So, uh, do you want to sit here and watch me plow the rest of this field? Sort out the outside of the field and make it look all pretty, ready for lighting? Was that? You do? Well, I don't want to sit here and edit any of that. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Keep my 
of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But I'll be okay I move on We are back at the farm for all of 30 seconds. Um, plowing is commencing. The majority of it is done. Um, I think the biogas plant has ticked up a little bit. But I've made a few quid. Um, so I thought while the worker was doing its work and everything, that I would scooch back up to the yards, grab some of this lime, you know, I like me do dee 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 and uh, head back down and get the lime done because you know it needs lime and then probably grab the, uh, the jockey and do the uh, the grassland around the edge so I'm gonna get this all filled with your lime and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, here we are back down at the field. Oh, I've still got a worker going, uh, but I want to get some lime. Oh, I'm actually just red lime on the inside and the outside of the field, ready for the grass. It's all going to need lime anyway, so I'm not going to do the whole lot. So, uh, yeah, let's get lighted.
lost the majority of the lime spread. <clears throat> uh, I did need to refill this doohickey, um, but we caught up with the ploughing. So, uh, yeah. I was going to do, do the whole field and then let him plough over the top. Um, but uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to mess up anything. The fact that I'm ploughing in a root crop as well. Um, I don't think it would. But uh, it's it, it'll be my luck that that's what will happen. I'm going to get this little triangle bit here. Uh, I did cultivate the area where the grass is going um, and I've also painted around our new field with some grass. I'm hoping that's going to deter workers from uh, entering, the, uh, entering the grass area when they're doing their thing. Now I'm probably going to be completely wrong. <laughs> but that's the plan, anywho's. Right, I want to head down to the potato processing because I want to show you something. So, uh, you know, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit worried about the placement of the potato processing plant thing. Oh, drink of water. <coughs> um. And the fact that the trigger markings for the pallet spawn point were actually in the dirt. Because... <sighs> yeah, go watch the episode. It's, it was a nightmare. <laughs> Trying to get this placed with all the collisions for the hedges and stuff. It was... Yeah. Ta-da! Premium potatoes! Although, yeah. And we have... Snow! Oh, starch! Snow. So, <laughs> we have potatoes and we have starch. There was no need for me to be worried at all. Uh, it is still processing, doing its thing. But I just want to show you that uh, even if your uh, uh, spawn area on the potato doohickey is slightly under the ground and you can't see the hash markings, hatch markings, or hash, we're back to snow again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that they will still do their thing and spawn parrots. Parrots. Ah, oh, cute out. I'm tired. The train of thought is everywhere. Oh, it's been one of those days. You know when you volunteered to do something for someone and then you completely regret the fact that you volunteered. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Anywho's. Let's get this liming sorted out. What I might do, <coughs> actually, is while he's doing his thing, if I head back up to the farmyard, and grab our cedar. I can start seeding the grass while he's doing his ploughing and then I can finish the line and then I think the next plan once this is all um, all ready to go for March um, other than a few weeds that's probably going to sprout up which would be good I can get this grass growing and then we still need to raise ourselves I think it's 106 for the header and then another like 20 grand or whatever it was for the trailer but anyway <coughs> head up to the uh, oh, top to the hedge head back up to the farmyard and then we need to grab the cedar is the uh, is the plan at the moment. Get that filled up. Actually might still be some seed in it from the other day. I'm pretty sure I filled it when we planted the oats, didn't we? I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. 
thought was a yes. So there should be plenty of seed in it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking, because I have four pretty cool tractors, three of which are masses. <laughs> Can you tell that I've got a soft spot for masses? No? <laughs> um, there's a oh, Styra, Styra, no, oh, Strala. I can't remember. There's a cedar, a bit like the Great Plains, but it's not the Great Plains. Stara, Stara, might be. Um, there we go. And that plants everything. Um, I'm pretty sure my tractor should be mad enough to tug it along. And when it's folded up, it's not too bad. The only issue with it is it has to take fertilizer. And I don't have to put it in, do I? I can just wing it and uh, just flip a seed and then spread me the, uh, the muck or whatever after the fact. So, uh, yeah. So, in the cow barn, I do have, I think it's like 50,000 litres of slurry and 48,000 litres of manure. Um, now, unless I sell the manure or pop that into my production shed, it's literally just going to sit there and rot. So, uh, I am tempted to buy the Howl uh, muck spreader. For two reasons. One, I can spread muck. <laughs> I've got it. Why not spread it, right? Um, and two, it will double up as a lime spreader. So I could kind of justify spending money on that because I would save or make money from this one. I don't know. Anywho, let's get this grass in the ground. So this triangle, there's a triangle at the top of the field and there's a strip and triangle to the right of the field that's uh, behind me as we drive forward that needs to be uh, seeded with grass is, uh, is where I am at. He's doing alright, I suppose. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> and not only that, if I need some more silage, or I need some more hay, or I just need grass, then I've got extra that I can cut, right? I know I lose a bit of field, but I'd rather have a square field with sugar beets than this funny little shaped field. I mean, I could always plant other things in this area. Um, corn, for argument's sake. Or I could put some grapevines in. I could do whatever with it. It doesn't have to be grass forever. It's just grass for now. Because, yeah, I didn't want to leave it as just dirt. Right, pop this down. The good thing with this, I say good thing, the good thing and the bad thing with this cedar is it's direct drill. So any little areas of grass that I've painted over the field that weren't actually, uh, which don't have a paint layer underneath them, I've just placed grass on a field. This will remove the grass and tidy up the edge. Uh, I am indecisive what to do about the dirt edge that's already there. So you'll notice there's dirt and then there's grass and then there's field and then there's grass field and then there's beet field. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know what to do with that bit. Do I paint grass on the dirt and then add new dirt? Oh, I don't know. Let me know. I'm so tired. Anywho's. 
I have five minutes to record. The kids aren't around. I can hear them outside the door, to be honest. Having a, an argument about something. So, I'm hoping you can't hear them. My mic does keep peeking. And I'm hoping that's me or my chair squeaking. <laughs> Not the kids having a barley outside the door. Oh. Anywho, I digress. Back to the grass. <sighs> right. I can't see the tractor. Don't know. And I need to get this grass planted. Planted? Technically plant grass with a cedar? Is that... I don't know. <sighs> right. I like this tractor. Kind of cool. But yeah, as I say, I've got a, a soft spot for masses. I think they're really pretty tractors. And then again, I like the old Fords out there. Pretty sexy looking tractors. There's a couple of guys on the YouTube that I watch, and they've still got one. Um, Nick's still got an old Fords Major, to be honest. So, uh, he was using it for Teddy a little while ago. Yeah, still using a Fords Major, would you believe it? He's uh, Tilly vanning with it, but uh, yeah, it's actually really good. It sounds really nice. So, uh, yeah. But then saying that, the uh, the new Deutz Series 8, Series 9s, they are pretty tractors. So, uh, the thing with the Deutz is they look. Oh, can I describe it? They look like. They could give you a kick in. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Yeah, they look like... Yeah. Whereas the masses, they're pretty tractors. And they're a little bit... A little bit more flamboyant and a little bit more... You know... Caring. You know... One's going to eat your field up and the other one's going to tend to it. So I do like the new Deutz. I think they are... Uh, they're really cool looking tractors. Um, yeah. But I think... I think Mass is on my favourite. Anywho, I'm waffling again. So, back to the grass. <sighs> the good thing with grass is I don't seem to be using that much seed. Because, you know, why would I want to? <laughs> it's the long and short of that. Why would I want to? <clears throat> so, yeah, so probably could turn this into a beet field. The beet field will become a potato field. The grass field still needs some work doing to it, but that will become slightly different over time. I'm still indecisive what to do with the field out the front of our farm, whether I should plant it with another crop by a bigger field. Maybe not the field next to us, because that's gone a bit funny. <laughs> With the canola. Oh, I don't know, I've got some thinking to do. So uh, I'm going to leave it there for the time being. See you in a bit. There we are. So, ploughing's done. Liming's done. Grass seeding's done. Everything's done. All I need to do now is clean everything up. Put it away. Oh, why? Why do I do this to myself? I dump everything in this little area here and then I've got to spend three days picking it all back up. Oh, I don't know. What am I like? Yeah, just pop that back down there. Leave it there. Darn and dag nab it. I need another tractor. This one ain't doing much. I'll take I'll take this one. <laughs> I think it's time that we made a few quid. So, I guess a Rollins turn today. Uh, I've had enough of that Grimmy trailer, only on low speed of the Grimmy, although it is a bulk trailer, is horrendous. When you're trying to do beets or potatoes and you're using that Grimmy trailer, no. Right, what's the... Where am I going? Yes, I need 106 for this, 106500 for the Homer header and then the HR12 trailer is 12 grand. <laughs> so 
So, what's that? Six, seven, eight, 118? Or thereabouts? 118,500. To do the... Uh, beats. Yeah. Do the beats. Oh, it's a trailer. I do like this Roland trailer. Um, I think if I went for the next size up, it might be a little bit tight. Let's go with tight. Um, I mean, this isn't the biggest one. This is only a, a twin X, so they do a triple as well. But to get it in like here, I mean, I struggle with this one. So anything longer than this would be a nightmare. Um, and the other thing about the black and the silver of this one, did you do grapes or olives? We'll do the olives first, there we go. Um, is the fact that it looks like the, uh... Where's the planty thingy? Grapes, olives, where am I going with these olives? Uh, Lower Cross Indoor Market looks the best price at the minute. We'll probably be taking it there. The same infinite shop. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> back to trailer. It looks like the other one.
as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> it looks like the grape trailer. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Right, I'm going to go grab some grass.